Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another very late night boring episode. Um, I'm super excited about tonight. We are doing a mini collab with Nate from Nate's Art Lab. The technique that we are playing with this month and highlighting is finger painting. And I'm so excited about this. Those of you been watching me for a while, you know HOA loves to poke fun at me when I like to finger paint occasionally, but I actually think fingers are very, very valuable tools. And I don't think that there's anything really that has as much dexterity or as much versatility as our own hands. So we're going to work with that tonight. I'm super excited about this one. Nate and I were talking and he was talking about it's very easy to lose the fun aspect of it. And he was saying that as children, one of our first exposures to art and to paint in kindergarten usually or preschool is finger painting and that joy from that and that fun that sense of fun is really important I think as an artist to have in your work to make it enjoyable for you and to give yourself some relaxation and uh, so we're gonna be playing with finger painting tonight so <laughs> it should be interesting um, <laughs> let's get started this is a 20 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas I have taped the back and pinned it and I have painted my sides and edges with one of my actually with my flow extender color let me show you the colors colors because they're really pretty this first one we're using is anthraquinone blue from golden and I love this color it's very very pretty it is transparent so I'm hoping for some beautiful layering effects because this one is a transparent but it's such a beautiful deep blue and I love using this with reds and purples because it does kind of throw off a little bit of a purple color sometimes. So this is our anthraquinone blue from Golden. My pouring medium is my Golden's Heavy Gel Gloss mixed with American Floetrol. Nice and thick and creamy leaving a mound on a mound before it sinks into itself. Okay, so that's anthraquinone blue. We are also using one of my favorite colors ever. This is Permanent Violet Dark absolutely beautiful such a gorgeous rich color it makes me very very happy okay so that's the permanent violet dark and then we are using quinacridone crimson which just based on how kind of dirty this bottle is you see how old it is <laughs> so one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about the golden paints in these bigger jars they last a really long time so I've probably had this for going on two years now. It's not a color that I use all the time, but it is lovely and it's great paint. Golden's is always wonderful. So, you know, don't be afraid of these bigger bottles because you're actually paying less per ounce when you buy the bigger bottles than when you buy the little tubes or anything. So, this is our Quinacridone Crimson, also from Golden. Just gorgeous color. And it looks kind of strawberry-ish here, but it dries this very, very deep, luscious red, which I really like. Okay, we also have some titanium white from Amsterdam. Beautiful stuff. Okay, and then I have a combination of 24 karat gold and copper mixed together. So it's just giving us a very warm gold. Okay. Alrighty, so my game plan is to layer two cups and then I'm going to do flip cups on there. And we're gonna tilt that out, and then after that, we're gonna play with some finger painting. So, I think I'm gonna layer these the same. I'm gonna start out with some of the anthraquinone blue. These are nine ounce cups, so that'll give us 18 ounces. I think for that size, we need about 17 ounces of paint. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of white. And then I'm gonna go into our beautiful permanent violet dark. I'm gonna put a little bit of gold in there, a goldy copper. Be pretty. And some of the quinacridone crimson. I'm going to put one more layer of gold on there, just a small one, and then we're going to do that again. Anthraquinone, a little bit of white, turn it out dark. So as usually notice I'm using thicker layers of the colors and smaller layers of the white and the gold. I want them in the pour, but I don't want them taking over. Okay, I'm going to skip the gold and just go right back to the anthraquinone blue. Okay. Okay. A little puddle of gold first. I'm gonna do the first one about here. I'm just bring that up just a little bit. Okay, 
Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost that I am. Here we go. So there's our first one. Let's pour another puddle. <laughs> it's my prerogative to change my mind. <laughs> yeah. So many reasons. <laughs> okay. Are you ready, darling? Yes, ma'am. Here we go. Okay. And some magic taps. Get rid of this. Okay, let's take this one. You ready, honey? Which way are you going? I'm just gonna lift it up pretty much yeah, and then yeah. maybe whip it. Here we go. Ooh. That's cool looking. Wow, I love this. <laughs> okay, I have some magic tabs on this one too. You ready, honey? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. That's very cool. So, I'm going to take a little bit of the anthroquinone blue and I'm going to put it around both of these. So we're going to go around this. All right, let's tilt this out a little bit. This is really pretty. I love that purple next to the blue with the gold. Right. We're gonna take that down off of that corner first. Don't wanna sleep tonight at all. Just wanna watch them stars fall. Would you who don't wanna try to make up dreams just to be seen? I wanna lay here beside. Fire breath and open sky It's not what we know It's where we go I go wings and tell her goodbye oh, It's not what we see It's what we choose to be trying to decide if I like that solid section of blue in the middle or if I rather put another cup in there. Oh, so put another cup in there. I'm just going to take a little bit of this and go over this. Um, what do you think, HOA? Do we need another cup on there? Stretch it out. I think we need another cup on here to be honest with you. Just That's what I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling it's light, dark, light, dark. You think? <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> and smaller, smaller layers of the lighter colors. <laughs> smaller layers of the white, smaller layers of the copper gold. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to put it, put it over here. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Got some magic taps. All right, are you ready, darling? Mm -hmm. Here we go. I've never been so ready. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Cool. Okay. I'm just gonna tilt that out a little bit, and then we will play. It's where we go. is good now I'm happy there's some parts of this that I really really love and there's some parts that I'm not completely crazy about which is awesome because those are the parts that we're probably gonna finger paint in 
for example. I love all of this. This is really pretty, really beautiful. Probably not going to do anything in there. This little drippy bit, those are probably going to get played with. And there's one line in here from the first cup that we put down that I'm not crazy about. So we're probably going to play over here and in here. And maybe not so much on that part that I like better. So let's see. Let's start over here and just take this first little drippy part and kind of pull it out. All right. Let's let's be wild. That's kind of neat. Okay. Let's play with that a little bit more. I'm just laying my finger down and pulling it up. Let's start over here though. It gives an interesting effect, for sure. Let's see if we can't pick it up and kind of pull it a little bit. It's almost like it makes like a fold almost. What if Okay, let's try something. I'm gonna put a little bit of white right there. And I'm gonna dip my finger in that first. And then we're gonna kinda gently drag this through here. Looks kinda cool. really cool. Okay, now I'm getting brave. As Nate says, be fearless, right? That's right. Let's go over here. That's the Nate I know and love. <laughs> I think everybody loves Nate. Nate's like a golden retriever. <laughs> He's just always wagging his tail and happy. It's awesome. It's great to have a friend like that. It makes you see the positive side. I don't think I want to do too much more to it than that. I kind of like that. So right now, it's, it's sort of fresh, but after a few minutes, you start to see in here where it sort of makes those like fan patterns. Really, really pretty. There's a pretty one over there. 
I don't want to touch that part because I like it. I'm going to touch this one more time. sort of incorporate in everything that we touched and make it like be part of the painting instead of something very separate and I think that's it I think we're done what do you think HJ? yeah you think we need more than that nope I like it. I really love this part <laughs> I know it's finger painting and I'm supposed to want to do more but I really like it okay so I will show you guys this one when it's dry. Um, please use your fingers, play, have a good time. It's only paint. If you hate it, you can scrape it or pour over it. So this is awesome looking though. I love this little, some of these little fans we're getting in here from the finger roll. That's cool, okay. This is really pretty. <laughs> All right, I'll show you when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We'll be right back. So this is a couple days later and it's dry now. This one came out really, really pretty. <laughs> um, I was talking with my girls and about what do we see and what should we call it. And it's so interesting because the first one she said, she said, I see a bull in here with the horns and then a body and then its legs. And uh, then my other daughter came out and said she saw a lioness with the ears right there and the head and then the body and the tail and then there's another bull <laughs> like right here with the, the tip of its nose and the head and then two horns coming up and then the red body so it was really interesting how everybody saw like these wild animals and then my other daughter said she thought it looked like velvet so this is wild velvet with our finger painting which came out really fun I love this line I know we spent a lot of time working on this but I think the end result is really, really pretty, especially with the gold in there. And then I think after we stopped rolling, I played with it a little bit more. But these are really cool in here. Very, very neat stuff. Come on, focus, focus. I hope it's in focus. <laughs> anyway, all these beautiful gold cells popping up through there. So the finger painting was really fun. I enjoyed that part a lot. It was a little bit scary at first, but once you let yourself go, like over here where I was relaxed and calm, then I was taking more risks and a little bolder with it, and it was really fun. I also love this little bird. It's right there, that's really cool. <laughs> and these colors are amazing. That quinacridone crimson with the permanent violet dark and that anthroquinone blue is just so pretty with the gold and then a little bit of white. But in this part especially, this is I think why I didn't want to paint through here was because I just loved that part with the quinacridone crimson. It was such a beautiful line and this kind of floating galactic background. Really fun. So this was awesome. Thank you so much to Nate from Nate's Art Lab and everybody in Nate's Art Lab. Please make sure you watch everybody's video and uh, this is going to be fun. So thank you so much for being here. We love you guys. As Nate says, be fearless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.